to this Geekin online presentation. This presentation describes details and advantages of the press-in method. Firstly, we will look at the silent piler, piling rig for the press-in method. Secondly, you will see the principles of the press-in method. Thirdly, applicable piles and penetration techniques will be shown. Next, we will introduce the Geekin Reaction Base System, also known as the GRB system. This shows the standard machine layout of the press-in operation. The operation comprises the silent piler, a hydraulic jacking machine, the power unit of the silent piler, and the service crane. As you can see, the silent piler is very small and compact for a pile driver. Next, you will see the mechanism of the press-in method. The basis of the press-in method is simple. The silent piler obtains its reaction force by gripping previously installed piles in the ground, which are called reaction piles. Then, based on the reaction piles, the silent piler installs piles into the ground using static loading. The silent piler begins from a reaction stand, which includes outriggers to be loaded with counterweights. The counterweights provide initial reaction weight to install the first four to five piles in the ground. After the initial piling is done, the counterweights and the reaction stand are no longer necessary, so they are removed and the pressing work continues. The press-in method emits only minimum noise and imperceptible vibration. Therefore, it is completely environmentally friendly. This shows a comparison of the pressing method to the percussion method. And next is a comparison of the pressing method to the vibratory method. As the pressing method is essentially nuisance free, it can be utilized adjacent to residential properties or train operations. Moving on, we will go over applicable pile profiles for the pressing method. The silent piler can install most of the prefabricated piles available on the global market. Firstly, U sheet piles measure between 400 mm and 750 mm wide. Secondly, Z-sheet piles measure between 575mm and 708mm wide. Z-sheet piles can be installed by the silent piler either in single or double form. Thirdly, 900mm wide hat-sheet piles. Now, please take a look at this table. The vertical column on the left shows the silent piler models, and the horizontal rows at the top show pile profiles. From the left, U-sections measure between 400mm and 750mm wide. Next, the 900m wide hat section. Next, Z-sections measure between 575mm and 708mm wide for both singles and pairs. Next, you will see the penetration techniques for the press-in method. For sheet piles, there are three penetration techniques available for the press-in method. These are the standard mode for soft ground conditions, the press-in with water jetting mode for medium dense or stiff ground conditions, then the press-in with augering mode for hard ground conditions on the right side. Let's go over the techniques one by one, starting with the standard mode. Piles are installed with static load only. The silent piler self-moves during each pile installation, moving one pile forward. Mm -hmm. 
Secondly, the water jetting mode. With the water jetting mode, each pile has a special fixing holder welded on its toe to fix a water jet nozzle in its place. The water jet lubricates the pile's surface and temporarily and locally loosens and softens the ground. As the water pressure and water flow can be controlled depending on the ground conditions, ground disturbance can be minimized by this regulated water flow. After pile installation, the water jet nozzle is retrieved and used on the next pile. Thirdly, press in with auguring. The pile is mounted on the side of the auger and the auger simultaneously loosens the ground and the pile is installed. Thus, this method enables pile installation to be carried out in difficult ground conditions, such as cobble or boulder mixed soil, underground obstructions or rocks. After the pile has been installed to the required depth, the auger is reversed and the disturbed soil is backfilled and reconsolidated. Also, the silent piler can extract piles by reverse sequence. If necessary, press-in piling operations can be carried out by utilizing only the top of the previously installed piles. This system is called the GRB system, also known as the Geekin Reaction Base system. Please take a look at the installation sequence. The GRB system is our own construction system in which all the steps, including transportation, pitching and pressing in the piles, are completed on the piles. Each mechanical device stands on its own while gripping previously installed piles, so there's no risk of toppling over and construction can be performed as long as there is space to fit the width of the machine. Hence, this footprint-free installation method enables substantial elimination of temporary work, therefore significantly reducing construction costs and time.